So, 23rd of April, Year of Our Lord 2020. Got three cameras running because I am going to test out my gear shift pro system on the RT today. Maybe I can get some film footage of that. We will see. I tested it out yesterday, but uh, it doesn't work at low speed. So I use a using the clutch when I'm at low speed. And I will try out the uh, Gear Shift Pro when I'm on a slightly faster piece of road. So, I'll be back in a few. So I'll give the uh, Gear Shift Pro another go on this road as I turn left. So here we go. Accelerating. And using the uh, gear shift pro. I have to say from what, on the lower gears, it's a little uh, jerky. But uh, when you guys get to third and fourth and fifth, it's nice and smooth. Let's uh, change down. So that's down to uh, fourth, back up to fifth. Mm -hmm. So it seems to work quite well. Can't say I like it from second to third, uh, first to second. But it's a little better from second to third, very smooth from third to fourth, and extremely smooth from uh, and five to six. You don't notice. Uh, well, yeah, I went from six down to five just then. So, coming up to a light, down to fourth, brake, down to third. Now I'm going to use the clutch into second. The changing down is not too bad. So that's the, the uh, gear shift pro. I believe that's what it's called. If not, I'll put it up in the right hand corner. What it's called, what's the actual BMW name. So that's it for today. That was a review on the gift shift pro. Well, I say that was a real, but here's the conclusion. I prefer to use the clutch. If I was on a mountain road and racing, then yeah, the gear shift pro would be handy. But for normal riding, I don't think the gear shift pro has uh, much use. just nice to have. It's like the uh, stereo system I have on this uh, this motorcycle. Nice to have but I don't use it. <laughs>